It's happened again. Welcome to an emergency Easy Trivia's Game podcast. I'm having deja vu, Alex. Mm-hmm. I'm one of your hosts, of course, Elijah, sitting across from me digitally, of course, as always, Alex. I th- it sounded like for a second you were like rebooting. I yeah, like, okay. I was. Yeah, it was like, a manual uh, refresh. Yeah, it was yeah. a manual refresh. Sometimes make my... sure you're on the same on the right day. Yeah, my brain needs to kind of do a booting process, so I just start slurring yeah. words randomly. Yep. After what happened today? Yeah, after what happened today, almost in the exact same way for me, anyways. Um, you saw the thumbnail. You saw the uh, title. Uh, Sony has purchased Bungie. Um, we are going to look over the deal. Talk hypotheticals, but really I want to break down the deal, give you the facts, and then me and Alex are going to discuss it. I have boiled down to three places you can go. You basically sum up the entirety of the information that you're going to need. Um, Also, at the end of the video, if you care about Destiny stuff, I will be quickly going over my thoughts on how this will affect Destiny. Alex is a great co-host, and not only does he help me along with the shows, but he also provides timestamps. So you can look at the description below, figure out what you want to look at, and click to that. If you just want Destiny thoughts, you can, of course, go into the description below. On that note, Alex, Mm. we're going to gamesindustry.biz by one. Should grab the name prior. (laughs) Brendan Sinclair. He writes, Sony Interactive Entertainment today announced a deal to acquire Bungie for $3.6 billion. Bungie, one studio for $3.6 billion. Now, this is all direct quotes straight from them. After the deal closes, Bungie will be, quote, an independent subsidiary, end quote, of Sony Interactive Entertainment run by a board of directors consisting of current CEO and chairman Pete Parsons and the rest of the studio's current management team. Mm. Sony has said, Bungie will remain a multi-platform studio, we will get back to that, <clears throat> with the option to, quote, self-publish and reach players wherever they choose to play, end quote. Of course, the studio currently is working on Destiny 2, not currently has launched a new game really since Destiny 1. Destiny 2 was launched a couple years ago as well, so their last new game was destiny one after that alex of course halo of course, yes halo one through three reach odst mm-hmm. incredible games yep. go even further you got myth marathon things like that mm-hmm. we're going back to the article quote we've had a strong partnership with bungie since the inception of the destiny's franchise i'll get back to that too and i couldn't be more thrilled to officially welcome the studio to the playstation family end quote that's, of course, from CEO Jim Ryan. Now we go back to Bungie. <clears throat> well, this is an important step in a strategy. Oh, no, sorry. This is still with Jim Ryan. We're going to stick with Jim Ryan, then we're going to Pete Parsons after this. Well, this is an important step in our strategy to expand the reach of PlayStation to a much wider audience. We understand how vital Bungie's community is to the studio and look forward to supporting them as they remain independent and continue to grow. I'm going to read that last part again. Remain independent and continue to grow. Very interesting choice of words. Mm-hmm. Like Bungie, our community is core to PlayStation's DNA, and our shared passion for the gamer and building the best place to play will now evolve even further. Now, this is Pete Parsons talking. Quote, well, both Bungie and SIE <laughs> believe that game worlds are game, wor- and I think this really narrows down what this is all about. Both Bungie and Sony Interactive Entertainment believe that game worlds are only the beginning of what our IP will become. Our original universes have immense potential, and with SIE's support, we will propel Bungie into becoming a global multimedia entertainment company dedicated to delivering on our creative vision, end quote. Lots of different ways to cut into this, Alex. Let's start with the first thing. Okay. You want to go back? Independent subsidiary. Yes. So this is by far, Alex, correct me if I'm wrong, Mm. one of the most unique acquisitions I have ever seen or heard of in games, period. End 
because they are using very clear terms. And you can very much tell Bungie was able to dictate those terms. And it was essentially Bungie writing out this deal because it very much seems that PlayStation came to them and said, hey, what does it take? Bungie said, I mean, it looks like from at least top down, they got almost everything they want. They're staying basically independent. Now, I know most achievers right now are asking themselves, a lot of that sounds good and fine. Then why mm-hmm. would Sony buy them? If yeah. all of this is, if nothing changes, why buy them? I think there's a couple different things you can look into this. To answer that question, we go over to the PlayStation blog. And I want to read the opener because the opener establishes a lot. And this is from Jim Ryan himself. So the first sentence you're greeted with is, Today I'm happy to announce Bungie will be joining the PlayStation family, right? Immediately followed. First off, I want to be very clear to the community that Bungie will remain an independent and multi-platform studio and publisher. That is a very clear sentence. Very clear. Independent and multi-platform studio. Alex, that, the... Do you know what that, you know what that means, ahead. though? It means the studio will, but that doesn't guarantee every game. Or should that guarantee every game they come out with? This is the issues with stuff like this, right? Because you can kind of mm. piece out a lot of things. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll further read... And we'll get back to that. I think that's okay. a very interesting question to bring up, actually. But very quickly, I want to um, go on to uh, back to this. So, okay. as such, we believe it makes sense for it to sit alongside the PlayStation Studios organizations. And we're getting clearly excited about the opportunities for synergies, which is a fucking terrible term, and collaboration between these two world-class groups. Now, a lot of other this stuff is a buff- bunch of fluff. So, I'm going to get to a... Uh, what really makes sense out of this. And this is, I think, surmised as such. So about part way through, we get to, I believe it's Herman Holst's that's that says what I really want to bring up. No, no, no. So it's still with Jim Ryan, and it's right near the end, right before they get to Herman Holst. We're going to read this. Bungie's world-class expertise in multi-platform development and live game services will help us deliver on our vision of expanding PlayStation to hundreds of millions of gamers. Bungie is a great innovator and has developed incredible proprietary tools that will help PlayStation Studios achieve new heights under Herman Holst's leadership. Mm. Alex, the way I see it, and I think it's kind of clear especially when you get very 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 open and honest statements from both of these people seems like sony came to bungie and said you know we have sony pictures and we have all these other things that can help you i want to bring back a direct quote from Pete we Parsons. Have a, we have an upcoming Project Spartacus. We, yes, that could help with that, of course. Maybe some sort of um, deal. deal with that. But I yeah. want to bring up what's something that the CEO of Bungie says. That's, this is the end of his quote. We will propel Bungie into becoming a global multimedia entertainment company. You know what that means to me? The MCU looks really cool, and we want to be that. Mm. We want movies. We want TV shows. We want a bunch of things that, frankly, either they can't afford or can't organize. And Sony said, let's do it. I think that's, I mean, I could, that is I clear that as day to me. Yeah, I could see definitely because, I mean, Sony, I mean, has done movies. I'm sure they could do shows. I mean, I mean, look at the... Comics. Um, I mean, books. look at the... Um, the uh, the good the good uh, reviews and I've I've heard good things about Arcane, which is based off of League of Legends. Mm-hmm. I mean, like yeah, imagine they want, they want some of imagine a show money. or an anime off of Destiny with yeah. the lore and stuff. Yep, yep. Multimedia yeah. entertainment. They want Sony came to them or Bungie's probably counter offer was like, yeah, as long as you can help us do X Y Z, make a movie, make a TV show, whatever mm-hmm. they have going. 
that's what PlayStation said. Yeah, let's let's make that happen. Um, <clears throat> and what what does PlayStation get out of it? Not only do they say, <clears throat> "Hey, we own Bungie, which started their rivals' company mm-hmm. in gaming." Let's not yeah. forget, Halo is the entire reason we have Xbox right now. Without ha- without Halo, Xbox probably isn't a video game system anymore. So not only do you get to say that, but you also get to say that we are starting a foothold, and they've said this themselves, especially with this quote from Jim Ryan. Um, Bungie is a great innovator, has developed incredible proprietary tools that will help PlayStation Studios achieve new heights. We know for a fact, Alex, uh, due to many of reports and rumors, that they have multiple multiplayer games in effect. Sucker Punch oh, yeah. is working on some. I believe um, Naughty Do- not I believe we know Naughty Dog is working on factions. Of course, this won't affect mm-hmm. that at all. But these are examples of more multiplayer games coming out, more mm-hmm. things affecting all of Sony's uh, development. We know they're working on multiple multiplayer games. So how do they learn how to make multiplayer games? Now, you can release, and we've seen this. It's very hard to get an online game off of its feet, right? We've seen this countless Mm -hmm. times. How many, Alex? Anthem. How many Anthems are there? How many Hyperscapes are there? How many? Yeah, exactly. We have all these online games that come out and flop because they just don't know what to do in certain situations. Mm -hmm. They don't have the killer hook. I'm... What I mean, and they way? couldn't be good, but like it just doesn't get enough volume. Like, uh, they had they had that exclusive one, Paragon. It was doing really good for the longest time on PlayStation, and yeah, then they just, just had shut down. So, yeah. What better way than to buy the studio that is making arguably the most um profitable isn't the right word, most important games as a service? I mean, it was one of the first, definitely. They've learned a lot. They're still here. Destiny 1 was pretty unique in what it was trying to do with its kind of games of I mean, service. They of course, we had MMOs like World of Warcraft and things like that. Yeah. But as a console driven. They see thing. they see that they're still they're still making content. Like they're still up to date and then people are still they're still keeping uh an audience. I would just say yeah, I guess an audience like they like if they see their numbers and people who log in, it's probably it doesn't really go down. It's always there's always a high amount. Yeah, they're always doing very good with with support, especially recently. Recently, with this mm-hmm. last year, with, with Destiny. <clears throat> so I think that's I think when you ask yourself why, I think you immediately go, well, Bungie wants a multimedia. This is from the CEO, a multimedia. Uh, I mean, I guess you could say empire, whatever you want to call that, right? Sony wants proprietary tools to help their other games as a service that they're clearly working on and that they want help with and want to make sure that when they launch, they, they're they not the next Anthem. They're not the next Hyperscape. They're not the next insert dead online game here. Marvel Heroes. <laughs> There's so many that you can name off. Um, and, you know, all the Halo killers over the years, Outriders, uh, all these mm. things. Or Sorry, uh, Destiny killers. All these Destiny killers over, over the years. I've talked a lot, Alex. Do you have anything to speak on? I, my thing is, they were uh, Bungie is a great innovator and has developed incredible proprietary tools. Why? Why are they saying proprietary tools? Bungie has are a they, lot of tools that they've themselves created to help they aid created? In their games. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't. I can't name off because I am not a game developer, nor do I have the knowledge to speak on it but i do know there's a lot of tools that they utilize that are very unique to them because they've kind of had to i mean frankly make their own with how they make the game there's a lot of um interesting and strange ways how the game works and what are the things are in the background and i'm they've just had to make tools over the years and they're still innovating on certain things that they kind of hint at when they talk about their tech especially with witch queen there's certain little upgrades that they're implementing to help with the thing so whatever they have it impressed sony enough to name that in the acquisition letter i mean they are naming specifically their tools are very uh are a very part of the purchase themselves that they get to learn a lot probably they probably have some sort of deal uh what's uh another downside of this is we don't have the contract in front of us because you know that's not how it works. So we kind of have to guess, but I'm sure part of the deal was, hey, we own all your tools now, or we get to license your tools, or et cetera, et cetera. Anything That's else? very interesting. Yeah, no, there's a lot to, I mean, 
this is a big deal, and there's a lot to kind of parse through and really kind of break down. Let's uh, let's bring up Her- Herman Hulse into this because this also kind of sheds a little bit of this. Her- this is Herman Hulse. This is head of PlayStation Studios. Quote, I'm absolutely thrilled to announce a new member will be joining PlayStation family. I've been a fan of Bungie for many years. I have admired and enjoyed games that they've created. They have a great respect for their skill in building worlds that gamers want to explore again and again. Budgie makes games with astounding technology, and we're getting back to the technology part, that are enormously fun to play. They also have unmatched dedication to the communities that play their games. And everyone at PlayStation and PlayStation Studios will be excited about what we can share and learn from them. And really, look how many times he's referencing. Share. Learn. We're excited about their technology. Something they have they're very interested in. Mm-hmm. I really don't think, I mean, they're clearly buying it because it, they have Destiny, but that's clearly not the only reason. Not a, They get to say, hey, we own the the people who, who made Halo, but they also mm-hmm. own the people who make Destiny, but it seems like almost as important, they have their tools. Mm-hmm. It seems like they're, frankly, most excited about. PlayStation that. is going to come to them and be like, hey, we want to make a VR experience for this. Oh, oh God. I'd probably yeah. vomit, wouldn't I? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Now, where do you want to go from here, Alex? Is there a particular thing you want to touch on before I move on? No, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you drive. The de- destiny is a big thing in your life, so I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you be the pilot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. So, yeah, I'm ready to. I'm ready to move. So, we know that. Hey. This is the global multimedia entertainment company. That's what Bungie wants to be, right? Mm-hmm. says directly from their CEO, today Bungie begins our journey to become a global multimedia entertainment company. That is important. Now, I did preface, and I should have prefaced this entire um, statement with what I said in the Microsoft Activision statement when they were episode, when they, when they announced Microsoft was buying uh, Activision Blizzard. Uh, boo. I hate this. I don't want this. If you follow me on Twitter, yeah. I did make a statement like halfway through the day, kind of like, because I wanted to sit on it and make sure I wasn't kind of reactionary. But to quicker ring up, I don't want any of this. I said it then, I'll say it now. I, this is, this sucks. There's an, ac- there's an acquisition war, clearly. They're, uh, and, I don't Obviously, want they to... can't do console wars anymore, so they have to find something. <laughs> I don't want there to be, at the end of the day, 10, 20 years from now, there's three companies that own everything. Yeah, it's... I don't want at that. This point, yeah, at this point, each developer is going to be owned by someone. Yeah, and this is just the beginning. Alex, what hmm. month is it? January? Literally the last day of January. January, and we have... Two major acquisitions to start the year off. Mm-hmm. Last year was also the largest year, I believe, in acquisitions ever in video games, roughly. Um, and this is just continuing. Uh, this is this was immediately blown out the water with Activision Blizzard and Zynga and all that. And I I hate it. I don't want some kind of dystopian <laughs> oligarchy with Microsoft, Tencent, and Sony mm-hmm. ruling over all games. So. I don't want that. It's very disheartening, frankly, to Alex. I brought up a couple examples to you that I won't say the names, but it's very frustrating to see specific people cheering for this. What yeah. is what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it's, I, I, it's... I apologize if I sound upset. And frankly, I, I kind of am. But when I see people that I frankly respect quite a bit over here, like, Oh, this is crazy. Oh my god. Yay! This is exciting. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is the same thing I said about Activision Blizzard. When I get on Twitter and I see people excited because their their games are coming to Game Pass. What is wrong with you, bro? When you when when you <laughs> when you're cheering for two giant corporations and one of them is buying the other one and you're like yeah i'm really happy about this i don't have to buy call of duty anymore <laughs> fucking look in a mirror because frankly it's embarrassing sorry about that alex i had to get that off my chest <laughs> no you're good it's definitely 
I definitely I don't I don't know what drove them to do it either because if they're be, still staying independent, what are they gaining? I think Bungie is like, gaining. Look, let's. I mean, I guess the they're. I mean, I guess they get a type of percentage from anything that they get from Destiny. Oh, now, I'm sorry, I messed up. So, are you saying what does Sony gain or what does Destiny? Yeah, yeah. Gain? What the what the what does Sony gain from this? I think like, the tools. If, yeah. Okay. I think I think they really want to learn how Destiny runs to okay. aid in their multiplayer games that are being currently working on. Alex, if you can find this, I believe it's Sucker Punch. Okay. I believe it's because if you remember correctly, Ghost of Shima has a raid. Like I think people forget, like there's a whole online mode to Ghost of Shima that has a mm -hmm. raid. You can like get loot. You talking about you talking about legends? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole online mode mm -hmm. that that's in that well, game. Well, I, I think they see, want to learn that. Um, I think th this is yeah, because uh, PlayStation Ryan, hasn't really been an online per like thing. They've always Jim, been single player story, correct? And Jim Ryan openly said they want to. Yeah. move. This is their space? first. This is their first start into a games as a service multiplayer lineup. Yeah, they're changing directions with this purchase. Maybe hey, I'm sure we'll still have God of Wars and things like that, but they're going to try and make multiplayer games. Oh yeah, they They're want that. Yeah, they try. want that little side change coming in every month, you know. How? Yeah, I mean, they don't have anything like that. I, you can argue Microsoft doesn't quite either. They have Halo now. They had Sea of Thieves, which is pretty popular, but like not like you know, not it's not a huge thing. Halo is kind of their only games as a service really title, right? Gears wasn't super successful at keeping people, if I remember correctly. So can't really say that either. PlayStation, I mean, geez, they they really don't have anything. Um, mm -hmm. in the terms of any major multiplayer game or games as a service title, so this is their first Fourier, and like, and I want to bring it back with your question: Where do they gain? I think they gain not only the knowledge that Bungie has because they've been through it. I mean, Jesus, mm -hmm. if I'm a Destiny fan, <laughs> if there's a games as a service problem, Bungie has gone through it. I feel like. Just about all of them. And they figured it out and they've grown and are better for it. And they can now go to Sony and direct them or have some person help them in XYZ problem. Or if they have a question, they can use Bungie's tools. Um, whatever tools that they're referring to, clearly whatever tech that they're using, they're very impressed by. So they get to, to learn from that whenever Sony makes their own engine for online games or whatever their plans for... for that there's there's so many things but i really do think not only do you get a cut of everything destiny makes i mean come on like they, they're gonna start getting cuts of all of this so now yeah. every time you buy something on eververse cha ching a well, little bit of money now, you get this not, passive payments every day not before but now recently i mean technically xbox does have a, a game as a services as in uh warcraft diablo and candy crush well now, now they do yeah yeah, yeah. Well, say now, now they do technically yeah yeah. yeah yeah well they will whatever will whenever this yeah. finishes yeah whenever it finishes and of course this is and i should have prefaced this again i apologize of course acquisitions this does not mean they now own them this means that they have both agreed to business deals that once approved will go into effect so yeah, this, would take this is not final while. this is the, this does not mean they're owned yet neither yeah. does blizzard and activision with a uh uh, Microsoft. And that isn't done yet either. This this takes time, but mm -hmm. this is an announcement of something that will happen. Any um, yeah, and I think we were pretty clear already. Bungie, it's clear what they gain. First off, um, self publishing is hard. There's a lot of little things people don't think about. They have to worry about mm -hmm. discs. They have to worry about uh, codes for people. They have to worry about PR. You know, there's a lot of things that now. They can have Sony kind of help them with. Um, yep. They have they have HR and shit. They won't. They might not have to worry about it anymore. There's a lot of things. Maybe they completely are independent. Maybe they only get pieces of Sony to help them with certain things. You know, merch lineup. Maybe they don't have to worry about merch anymore. And they go over the Sony's like, hey, can you start doing our merch line? There's a lot of things that yeah. Bungie sees the game because they are not gonna have to worry about it anymore. They're not gonna have to oh, worry no, yeah. about the. They're not on their own technically anymore. Now. Yeah, there you go. They're not. They're not on their own, but they are. It's kind of like having a safety they net. Have, I feel they like. have, yeah. They have, kind of, they have somebody be like, "Hey, can you can you help a little bit? Can you spare a little bit?" Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, so, and yeah, yeah. they're gonna have that passive money coming in from all this 
Witch Queen, cosmetics, yeah. all these cosmetics. Um, now, <clears throat> go ahead. I wonder how if, I wonder how if it's gonna affect content. Alex, hmm. we share a mind. <laughs> Over on Bungie.net, you can read the full Parsons quote if you'd like. There's also an FAQ that you can go to. Now, this starts the Destiny portion of the video. So if you are more interested in the Destiny portion, you have already clicked to this timestamp. Or if you just want to hang out and you don't care about Destiny, just, you know, chill. We might still talk about something interesting. So they published an FAQ, Joe Blackburn did, answering a lot of questions for Destiny 2 players, right? Because clearly we're all going to have questions about a game that we love potentially leaving us forever. So... They made a full FAQ basically answering if you had a question about it, here's the answer. So, starting off with the first question. As a Destiny 2 player, does Bungie become part of uh, part of PlayStation have an immediate impact on how I play and experience Destiny 2? Answer, no. Our commitment to Destiny 2 as a multi-platform game with full crossplay remains unchanged. We want you to play the Witch Queen on February 22nd on the platform of your choice. Will Destiny 2 experience on a non-PlayStation platform be impacted by Bungie becoming part of PlayStation? No. I won't read all of this. I'm just going to get the yeah. answer. Will any announced um, seasons, events, packs, expansions be changed? No. They remain full creative. Our plans for the Light and Dark Saga are unchanged all the way through the final shape in 2024. Will Destiny 2 The Witch King include any platform exclusives? No. Interesting that that says Destiny 2 Witch Queen. Witch Queen. Nothing else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just they, 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 yeah. Witch Will Queen. Destiny Two Witch Queen include? No, not Witch Queen. Maybe something later down the mm, line. Though. That leaves an opener. Just I mean, in case. like you, like we've talked about before. I mean, PlayStation had exclusive strikes before. They did. It was in Destiny One. There were PlayStation exclusive mm -hmm. strikes. It was very, very annoying <laughs> to have whole parts of the game. And I don't think they'll do that again. I don't. I I I, I think they we were very. I think. The Bungie community or the Destiny community were very clear that we didn't like that. Now, what I won't care about cosmetic exclusives. Yeah. Alex, if uh, achievers, if you ever go to the PlayStation Plus side, there's always that exclusive packs for PS Plus members. Mm -hmm. I don't care if there's some Bungie thing every month, week thing. Who cares? You know, the, the cosmetical It'll things anyway. I will never complain about. Never. Mm hmm. Content is a different question, which I don't think well, will happen. But it is very telling that it does say Witch Queen. Will cross, will cross, uh, cross features like cross save, cross play, the Destiny 2 companion app, or throw parties that's like Destiny item manager be changed or removed? No. That Bungie has future games in development. Will they now become PlayStation exclusives? No. I play Destiny on Steam, Xbox, or Stadia. Will my platform still be supported? Yes. I think that basically covers every single question someone who plays Destiny yeah. has. Now, we say it every week. Just about every single statement has very telling things on what they don't cover. And they didn't cover play set platform exclusives after Witch Queen, so let's not forget that. But as of Witch Queen, and probably for the foreseeable future, probably are fine. I do not think this means very much of anything for anyone playing Destiny 2 right now, at least. Mm -hmm. Alex, do you share the sentiment that I have? Yeah, no, I definitely agree. Now, whenever there will be, because God knows I'm sure there will be, a, uh, another Destiny. Do, do you, you really think, think that... Will be? I mean, literally, they just said that they're uh, or at least the the last ex or the that expansion is called the final shape but do you really i mean do you really think that's not it sounds like the last dlc for destiny 2 it's possible which is in 2024 that's true i would assume we'll probably get a destiny 3 in like we'll probably they'll probably announce it maybe a couple years after that maybe because there's no way they're just gonna stop destiny 2 if this is the last one i'm not saying it is the last one but it just sounds like it is. Like, so, why call it the final shape? So, to get a little nerdy. Okay. We are currently in the light and dark saga, by the way. I know there's some mm. Destiny fans listening to this. Looking at you, don't. Queen, maybe? Sorry if I fuck any of this up, alright? But as far as I understand, 
There's the Dark and Light Saga. And that concludes with the final shape. And if I remember correctly, the Dying Lark Saga right now is encapsulated all of Destiny. Okay. So Destiny 1 to now to final shape. That has been the entirety of the story. So for people who don't understand much of this, this is like the Infinity Saga in Avengers. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) sure. Yeah. Or for Kingdom Hearts fans, the Xandor Saga. (laughs) There you go. Yeah. (laughs) Because I, yeah. Okay. So to put it in terms... Mm-hmm. I won't be shocked if Final Shape comes out. We have a handful of seasons after that. Okay. And Bungie does some sort of thing that makes a new a new game. Is it called De- Destiny 3? I doubt it. I don't think you I don't think you do that. Maybe you do. Who knows? I would just call it Destiny. I know that might make things complicated, but I would just call it Destiny and it's just a platform. And all the content from Destiny 1 and 2 is now on this, and we're going to keep expanding because we're rich now, because we just we were bought for $3.6 billion. Uh, one of them, Pete Parsons, is on a pot of gold like, ah, I rule it all! Um, but yeah, I think I answered your question. Okay, cool. <laughs> we'll probably, you'll probably hear from this from them later. <laughs> Yeah, so as far as I understand, yeah, will there be a Destiny okay. Probably, but... Probably, yeah. yeah. I, uh... My thing is, well, now back to... My thing with that is, do you, if they do make that, will you still think that will be supported multi-platform? Yes. Okay. The reason I think that is they are very clear, and you can't... I want to be clear about this. You can't say things like that and go back on it. You can't. No, but yeah, you but You can't say you are a multi-platform they... studio in your acquisition letter. And go back on it. You can't. But that's my thing. Like they, uh, they're they're saying they are they are a multi platform studio. But they, they didn't say that every game they have it will be multi platform. That means they 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 do have games that are multi platform. Then they and they do multi platform. But they're not saying that they're all. They didn't say every game we make will be multi platform. No, because they can't. No, because they. Can, you're right. You're right. I know that you I never know told, they know you the never future, told so they... me you were a lawyer. We're finding it out now because you're piecing this apart, but, but that's good. You're right. The reason they don't do that probably is because you can't say what happens in yeah. 10 years. That's For probably sure, yeah. why. Yeah. Bungie just can't say this will never happen because you, yeah. I mean, you don't no, know. I don't know. Well, that, and that's my worry because I'm like, what if it does happen? What if? Then yeah, that is that is an important question. What if Call of Duty's exclusive? But Alex, hmm. again, man, we're on wavelengths. <laughs> Bringing in Microsoft once again, now owning Blizzard, Activision, and King. Mm-hmm. You have something to come to the table with. Sony now has a thing to bring to the table. Hey, I have Destiny. Maybe you give us Call of Duty. You know, things like that. Mm-hmm. There, there's now things on a bidding table that Sony has. Sony now has Destiny. They can say, hey, we have Destiny 3 in four or five years. Mm-hmm. What's up with COD 7? The thousand. The fuck? I don't now, know the number we're on. Do you think 25? this is... I like that. Do you think this is going to affect Destiny being on Game Pass? Destiny's already off of Game Pass. Was it already? Yes. I don't remember. It is. Oh, it, it, it ended is already off. Last December 7th? Okay. Yeah, because that was the 7th? Forsaken oh, yeah. thing, right? That was, was Beyond Destiny Light. Forsaken? But oh, it Beyond also Light. gave you okay. all the expansions. That left okay. about two months ago. Gotcha. Okay. I think uh, we know why now. <laughs> now, <laughs> because, yeah, uh, that's probably why. <laughs> I I can see because I originally asked myself, why didn't they renew that? Weird. Anyways, yeah, should have probably looked at that again because very clear why it was not renewed now. Should have asked mm-hmm. myself much more questions than I did back then. But yeah, I I even thought I I thought for point five seconds, weird that it's leaving Game Pass, and then I just moved on. Yeah. So, clear why they did it now, because this has been in talks for roughly, as far as I understand, for six months, uh, people are reporting on. So, yeah, 
that's probably why they let that expire because <laughs> uh, <laughs> they had 3.6 billion dollars yeah. xbox Speaking- is probably sitting over there like why didn't they renew it guys <laughs> fuck <laughs> <laughs> and i guess we're gonna go take a play call of duty just <laughs> what's funny is the timing isn't completely off for these deals to have started almost the, around the exact same time man roughly one one of them had to knew the other and they're like oh we need to do this and then the other person did that do you think any of this was reactionary i th- mm. i think so i don't and hmm. i don't i think like, i don't know because i'm not saying bungie is it's not as big because it, it is it is it, it's but, well mm. but compared to activision and blizzard no it's not that is it's I want to be nothing. Cl- I want to be clear about this. That's what I'm this trying is... to say. Like, like I'm not trying to f- dog on Bungie, but like, no, no, no. You're Activision not. Blizzard is is like fucking. <laughs> it's nonsense. It really 68 is. Sixty eight billion versus three billion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean we're. I mean, again, we're talking nonsense numbers. But I mean, you're not wrong. It isn't. It, so Bungie I'm wondering... makes one game, and you can argue. That Sony very much overpaid for this. I, again, am a huge Destiny fan. Is mm-hmm. Destiny worth $3.6 billion? Yeah. I mean, it's like... It's, no, it's, it's like, definitely it's, not. It's like what, it's like what we, uh, we talk, uh, we, I mentioned it to you earlier. Mo Yang was... He, they bought Mo Yang for two point something billion? For Minecraft, and that would, yeah. For Minecraft. Yeah. I mean, just Minecraft. Let's just and remind ourselves... Like, I mean, if you, if game, you want to think this is fucking crazy, go look up how much Star Wars sold for, and then go, what the fuck? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, go ahead, Alex, please. But th- this is, it's clear that we are in a seller's <laughs> market. Yeah, yeah. George Lucas sold Star Wars for $4.05 billion. $4 billion. So Not you're even, saying like, for almost, 400 like, more million. I can yeah. own Star Wars. It's just, we're talking, it's just nonsense. Like, it's just it's nonsense. nonsense. That's, why you, that, yeah, that's why you can't it's really like compare. It's like they're saying that Destiny is worth almost as much as Star Wars. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's like kind of nonsense. That's why, that, it, and it also is clear that they didn't want to sell. Which, obviously, they didn't just buy them for Destiny. Because they must have technology that they're wanting to work with. And there is a new game that Bungie is working on too. Yeah, I don't remember the code name. Is it Matter? Can you look up the code name? I think it's code name Matter, and it's apparently a a PvP focused game, and apparently it's going to be like esportsy and shit. Let's see. Uh, The new IP, which is seemingly called Matter, according to the trademark, two years ago. Yeah, it's funded by and published by a Chinese company, NetEase. NetEase, yeah. yeah. NetEase uh, paid them a shit ton of money to make this game. Yep. So they have matter somewhere in the background being made. So yeah, Bungie's confirms the new IP to launch by 2025 and plans to expand Destiny into additional media. Which we, yeah. there we go. And who to help with that additional media? It's all coming together. That Alex. this article Sony was Interactive Entertainment a year ago out. exactly. There you go. This see, you love a good segue because that is perfectly into what i've been saying multimedia they want tv shows they want fucking movies they want to be an mcu oh my god did you watch the new thorn tv show my favorite part was when zavala came out you know just fucking garbage you know it's just, mm-hmm. just lore just being piled in like the mcu or I mean, something literally they could be like hey destiny people we want to make a show about the like the like the first guardians like all right or the traveler i think it's the iron lords iron lords i'm gonna be torn apart for this i'm gonna be torn apart. look (laughs) i don't i don't know much lore so i can't be faltered Mm -hmm. so i'm gonna say whatever i want to (laughs) say you you're probably gonna get it ripped in your ass i am i am i am (laughs) but yeah no like i still want to know what the hell the traveler is i mean it's a guy i don't know why you have questions alex it's clearly a giant white globe it's a planet. <laughs> I want to go in it. Dude, how James, have we not broken. gone in this thing? Go how have we it's not like, gone in this thing? It's, it's like I, you're going to hate me for it. But you remember in uh, Mass Effect Andromeda when you go inside the thing and it's like a whole, yeah, like cool. a whole different world? It's yeah, a world it's like, in it. Yeah. Like you don't know. That could be it too. Mm-hmm. What I want to figure out. 
Pete Parsons. Let me get in that globe. Let me get in that globe. Let me get in that globe, Pete Parsons. There's a, there's a little there's a little <laughs> slit in there I can get in there. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, Alex, do you have anything to leave with the achievers right now? It's uh, sometimes it is a little disappointing because you're like you're like, oh, I'm gonna think, you know, oh, what studio who's who owns this studio? Oh, well, it's one it has to be one of the three. Yep. Slowly like, going towards that. Like, now, well, like what's le- what's left? Y- Ubisoft, Sega, Take Two. Capcom. Like, it's, we still have yeah, a lot Capcom. left, but there's still a bunch, but like but, like the big ones. I mean, but like, we need to overreact now so that doesn't happen. So yeah. that so what we are fearing doesn't happen later. Mm-hmm. If you think like, I'm overreacting, imagine, just go look at movies. Go look at movies and tell me how that goes. Imagine. If Xbox, because I, dude, I feel like they're gonna make another acquisition, man. I have I, a feeling. I think it's. I think they're. I gonna feel like. Try. I feel like in this na- in in Alex, this in, year. Really quick, I did not go over. Sorry, uh, mm-hmm. Jim Ryan ends that with saying, "We are not done," as oh, if yeah. it's like some sort of threat. By the way, <laughs> like it's fucking weird. They're, he's mm-hmm. going. We're not done. They want more. Yeah. Yay! I can. I can see. I could see Sony buying either Konami or Capcom. They're not done, so they're gonna go somewhere yeah. else. And I, I or don't know. or I don't Square care. or Square. I don't want any of this. But if mm-hmm. I had to guess, I wouldn't be shocked if they talk Konami into selling their IP to them. But again, mm-hmm. I don't want any of this. Fucking make your own stuff. Stop buying stuff. And I have a bad feeling Xbox is going towards Take Two. I don't know why. No, no. I don't know. No, because that will actually might that actually might get stopped by regulators. They have to be yep. approved for things. That's a lot. That's two <laughs> back to back. Lot. That's two back to back fifty plus billion dollar deals. So that's true. Yeah, they, you you just can't do that. The the lawmakers are going to be like, I mean, no. I now mean, they let Disney do all their shit. So I was gonna say where they let I? Disney. Yeah, where exactly. am I? To I was like say, I mean, do you see where Disney is? They have that's what Fox. I keep bringing it up to when people are like, "Oh my god, this man!" I'm like, "Dude, Disney has everything. Where were you when that happened?" Exactly. Exactly. Anyway, achievers, thank you so much for listening this much into the video. You know where to go to help us. Reminders, youtube.com slash easy achievers. Where you're listening to right now, there's some way to support us. If you're on a podcast service of your choice, please leave a five-star review. Spotify now does five-star reviews. A five-star review helps us tremendously. Tremendously. You have no idea. Simply liking, commenting, subscribing to our YouTube channel also helps us tremendously as well. If you could do at least one of those three, we would be very much appreciated. Remember, patreon.com slash ggachievers is where you can support us financially, of course, only if you have the means. Thank you so much for listening. We are going to go play some more video games. I'm probably going to go play Destiny. Who's going to but, 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 until next time, this Friday, go Chief. Go Chief.